Welcome to the Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. The Raptors taking on the Rockets tonight. The road swing continues. Paul Jones and Sherman Hamilton and Sherm. Uh, what a matchup tonight of scorers. A couple of guys that know each other from the time they were school kids, James Harden and DeMar DeRozan. Both guys leading their teams with some high, high power scoring. Oh, no question about it. DeMar DeRozan, we know what he's been able to do, but James Harden in that whole triple-double threat mode, his assist numbers are up, and this is a guy who can score with the best of them, so it's going to be a marquee matchup on the perimeter between those two guys. All right, well, let's talk about the Mike D'Antoni system. They get up and down, and Sherm, you had an interesting observation about about the number of shots and the percentage of those shots, those field goals that are three-pointers and how the Rockets can, they can give you that Golden State barrage. They can blitz you in a hurry. No question about it. I mean, this is a team that shoots around 37 three-point field goals per game and they make them from all over the floor and they only shoot about 85, 86 shots total for the game. So almost half of their shots are three-point shots. So that means those threes are coming from everywhere at any time and you've got to be prepared to defend that. And one of the difficult things about defending a Mike D'Antoni coach team is that they play with pace, they force the tempo, and they force you to defend the three-point line in transition. That's a difficult thing, especially for bigger bodies who are trained to run to the paint and protect the paint. These guys spread out to the three-point line. You've got to be able to contest those while maintaining good defensive position and not allowing them to drive by you. Sherman, that plays into their defense as well because they get you running up and yeah. down and it feels good and they know what they're doing. And sometimes on the other end, the opposition doesn't. Wrong place, wrong shot, wrong guy, wrong time, and the party keeps going for the team that knows what they're doing. How much do the Raptors really have to key in tonight? Uh, to, to your point, it's kind of like punching a puncher. If you stand in the middle of the ring, you got no shot. You better back them up against the ropes, get a couple jabs, run around the ring a little, because you can't beat them that way. Well, you're right, and it's counterintuitive to, to get closer to a guy who can knock you out, but if you're the Raptors, you've got to play smart basketball, your style of basketball. Make sure you don't get into this up and down game. We've seen them get caught in that game over the course of this road. Your turn, my turn. Yeah, and it doesn't work. It, it really doesn't work. So they've got to really understand the tempo is going to be important. They've got to understand, as you mentioned, shot selection is crucial. A bad shot is equal to a turnover, which is another possession for the Houston Rockets to run it down your throat. And on the defensive end, you've got to protect your paint, but you've got to contest the three-point line. So the defensive side of the basketball has really hurt this team over this road trip. They've got to be better. They've got to be more focused and understand that their defensive principles, whether they win tonight or not, are going to weigh out throughout yeah. the rest of the season. So they've got to start establishing that now. All right, Raptors still have a chance to salvage an above 500 record on this five game road trip one and two right now they need this one tonight let's worry about what happens in Milwaukee on Friday after tonight you can see the game tonight eight o'clock Eastern on TSN and hear it on Sportsnet 590 the fan